This is what my sister literally just wrote me. Hey, did you get waters? Don't bother going to Walmart. There isn't any. Try Dollar General. Go. There's no water. There's no water, right? Again? They got the splash. Man, drop some comments, man. Let me know what you guys think, man. Should people buy all the water right off the jump? Or should you wait to see how the hurricane storm prediction progress and see where it's going? You know, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, so we actually found some water. Two cases of water for people. And hey, look at this guy. He is keeping a lookout because, man, look, he's got water right there. That guy's in there just looking around, making sure no one comes up and takes his stuff, man. And I don't blame him. What is up, you two? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, right now, man, it looks nice. It's a nice this, cloudy day. But this time, but this time is me. But this time, man, we're gonna change it up for today's video. You know, our, we usually do typical car, car audio content. But today we're gonna switch it up a notch because you know I had a comment saying man show your daily life and today a part of my daily life is we're gonna go look for water why because there's a hurricane coming it's gonna take it over that patch of very warm waters near the Cayman Islands Isle of Youth in western Cuba and there's still the expectation that eventual north to northeast turn so it is Saturday Hurricane's supposed to touch down, what, like Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday night. Hurricane Ian, I guess, it's the name. But I'm gonna show you today how chaotic it is. A week before the hurricane, how hard and chaotic it can get just to get some water. And listen, I've been living in Florida all my life. All my life. I live close to the, the coastline of Florida that's closer to the Gulf of Mexico. Yes, we've had storms. Yes, we've had, you know, stuff like that. But have we ever got a hurricane on my side close to the Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay area? Never. Has the rain got bad? Yes. But, you know, every time when there's a storm, man, you know, everybody here in the area always gets crazy and wants to go by all the water. And especially when we just have this pandemic, pandemic, however you say the word, um, even getting like toilet paper, and water, that was very cra crazy. I mean myself, I like to prepare myself for everything. I gotta make sure that my family has everything that they need and we need on my side of the end too. And I always go buy all kinds of stuff. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm that type of guy that goes and buys 20 packs of water, the, all the packs from the toilet papers, every single store that I could possibly hit up at. Man, we hit them licks and we get them. But with all my experiences doing all that stuff, when the when it's show time for the storm or whatever the, the shit show is, nothing never happens. Nothing ever happens and I always overbuy. And this time that I'm probably gonna, you know, underbuy only get like a few things. More than likely it's gonna hit us and we're gonna need it. But you know, like I said, I've been living in this part of Florida for a good amount of time and I can't sit here and say like yeah, man, you know, we got destroyed by that thing. We definitely, you know, needed that stuff. But we're gonna go today and hunt for some water because it's a hunting game, man, no lie. It, it gets crazy here in this area. And we're gonna go to the Walmart where it's a little chaotic. And if we get water, we get water. If not, man, you know, we can keep searching, but I'm gonna show you how crazy it can get and all the water that's gone already. Because from what I've seen on social media posts, man, the, the water, it, it's already going, so. And gas. Gas is another big thing. Everybody always fills up their tanks. We got some gas in our truck, so we don't need gas today. But who knows? We'll see what happens, man. So definitely stay tuned. Subscribe. Not my usual video that I usually do on car audio or car stuff. But, you know, I had a subscriber say, man, post some daily stuff. And this is the daily stuff right here. So let's get it. Subscribe, comment, like, man. Let me know if you guys are in the Florida, state of Florida. I hope you guys stay safe. Man, get your supplies. I know we are. Um, and we'll see where this video takes us. But for now, man, let's get on the road. Look, it's already started. Look, I'm going to show you. This is what my sister literally just wrote me. Hey, did you get waters? Don't bother going to Walmart. There isn't any. Try Dollar General. 
I was able to get the last two cases. Publix has a limit of two per customer. And that's what happened. That's what always happens every single time at um, all the stores around here in the surrounding area. Um, man, the water, you know, it gets to the crazy point where they only let you buy two at a time. I already knew that was going to happen because, like I said, man, I always buy stuff, so I'm always on the front line. But we, so we know that Walmart don't have no water, but we're going to go and we're going to show you exactly what is going on, man. Like, it's crazy out here. Don't panic. You know, uh, wait. I said, I wouldn't say wait till the last minute to buy stuff, but it's good to get prepared. But, you know, like some people don't get to, you know, they, they don't have a Saturday off. They don't, you know, have, you know, time to leave work, you know, because at the end of the day, people still need to pay bills and still need to do everything. And, you know, you know, save the water, man. You know, it, it could get real, but it's not that real. And plus, like I said, you know, everybody in, can vow and say, you know, we don't have a, a hurricane situation like that. But since it's on the, it's literally like the path of the hurricane right now is like literally like on the edge of our coastline on where we're at. Like I said, we are closer to the um, Gulf of Mexico side. So it's a little bit... Uh, it's on our it's on its way to us supposedly but we'll see what happens so we're going to the walmart i'm actually looking at the walmart right here from the bridge and it actually looks a little bit packed so hopefully we can get you some good video show you that all the water is gone guys the people behind me are really mad because i was trying to fix myself a stick but anyways man look at this walmart it is packed you know i come to walmart a lot you guys definitely see that i come to walmart a lot but today it is packed guys we'll definitely park right here people are getting impatient and try to honk at your boy just because we're trying to, you know, find a nice parking spot. But let's go inside. Yes, Millie. What's up? Now, man, we're going to go into Walmart. So we already know that there's no water here. But I'm just going to show you all exactly how it looks. Yeah. We're going to go to all the Walmarts here in the city. And I'm going to show you firsthand POV style that the water, it is gone. I ain't seen no one walk out with no water yet. So that goes to show you that it's gone. <laughs> Not to mention, what's up, way? What's good with you? There's water in there or what? Is there water? <laughs> so we're in the, the Walmart right now. Let's see what there is. We got definitely a lot of coke. All right, we're going to the water section right here. 826. Let's see. It's all gone. Here. This is the aftermath. Look, what did I tell y'all? The water is gone. You see, Millie, they took all the water, man. Yeah. All right, so you guys see it, man. There's no water. No water whatsoever. Don't know want to drink the splash. I'm supposed to drink. every day? Look, even they got mad because there's no water. All right, let's go. On to the next Walmart. So it's a little chaotic here at the Walmart in, in my city of Palmetto. So we're actually going to go like five miles up and we're going to go into Bradenton, which is the next city over. And we are going to see if we can have any luck. Man, look, that blazer looks clean. Um, we're going to see if we can get some luck getting water, water, although I already know it's not going to be any different. But man, I'm just going to show you all how crazy it can get with the water situation here in Florida and you know they say that the hurricane is the impact is going to be in Tampa and Tampa is only like 30 minutes away from us but you know it's still a tropical storm it hasn't even got to the point where you can call it a hurricane but you know people are still you know getting out of control and just buying all the water and I just took a glimpse of the toilet paper section and it didn't look that bad. You see what I'm saying? There was still toilet paper, but usually that's what people, you know, freak out and buy first is toilet or water, then all the toilet paper. They don't even care about no food or no snacks or any of that stuff. Um, but we'll see what happens right now. We're s hopefully we can make a purchase and buy some water. If not, man, you know we can. We still got tomorrow. Um, what they do is they just let them buy all the water what there is today. Then they'll stock it up and let the, the next people go in there. And once it really starts getting, you know, really um, hectic, what they do is they just start a line and they just let you get like one or two per household. But look, even the traffic right here looks, you know, 
a typical ride on a Saturday is just regular, but like, like there's like I feel like there's extra traffic just because people are out looking for water right now. It's it's a scavenger hunt. A few moments later, the Jeep real quick. They're ready for uh, Halloween. But, all right, so this is another Walmart. Let's see if we have any luck with some water here. I don't think so, but we'll see. This Walmart doesn't look chaotic. But let's see what happens now. We haven't made it towards the water section. Yet. Okay, so let's see what they got. Man, we're gonna walk to it. Let's see if it looks good or not good. It looks a little bit more calm over here than the other ones. You can already tell. Yeah. And it's gone. A little less chaotic, but it's all gone. Definitely. Okay, girl, come on, let's go. There's no water. There's no water, right? Again? They got the splash still. Yeah, so we're gonna see what we do with this water situation. All right, we are on the way to just a Winn Dixie just to see what they got in there. More than likely, there's not gonna be no water, but it'll be less chaotic than what a Walmart would be, man. So. We're gonna test our luck, roll this dice, and see what happens. Okay, so I actually spoke too soon. Look, I think there is water because I see people loading water up to their vehicle. Okay, yeah, so I think we're gonna end up getting a cart here, and we are gonna definitely get some water. Lock the door real quick. Let's see if we can score some water. You want to see elephants? Yeah. Yeah, but we need to get some water today, girl. Let's see. So look, as you can see, there's not a big stash of water here, but it's all gone. It is all completely gone. They, they got the little baby waters. And people will just buy those at the end, but you see, no water still, man. So it, it's getting crazy. Yeah, the expensive ones, you're right. All right, so let's see what we can do right now. Dad, I saw other TikTokers, and, and, and you turn the lights off, they will glow in the dark and you eat them. Okay. And drop some comments, man. Let me know what you guys think, man. Should people buy all the water right off the jump? Or should you wait to see how the hurricane storm prediction progress and see where it's going? You know, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. So right now, we are actually on the way to our very last stop, which is going to be the Publix. So basically, we just did a big circle around the city. Um, no Walmarts have water at this moment. We even went to a Winn-Dixie, and now we are actually on our way on our last grocery store right before we head home, and it is a Publix. You know, um, my sister told me um, that my niece told her, because she works here at the Publix, that they have water, but they're only allowing two per household. So, okay, look, my niece is working. I just seen her car. Um, and we're going to run inside here and see if we can score some water. You know, I'm... Um, you know, I already know we're probably not going to find no water, but it doesn't hurt to at least give it the old college try. And look, my other friend's here, too. So we're going to run into some people in here, man. So let's see what happens. Pray for us. Drop them comments. Hit that like. Man, let get this video out, man. Let the people show. Man, let YouTube, man, do your job. Show the people what people do and how fast they get prepared for these storms, man, and how fast they buy up all the water, man, for no reason, for no reason. But it's better to be prepared than not prepared. Or, did I say that right? It's better to be prepared than not prepared. All right, so let's get a cart, because I see some people with some water. I know, we're just trying to block too. Hold on, let me wait a second real quick. Let's see. Oh my god. Okay. 194. You weigh 45 pounds. Come on, girl. 45 pounds. Yeah. So we actually found some water. Yeah. Let's get two packs. Limit two cases of water for people. Just exactly what my niece has said. 
to go look at the rest of the water. Come on, girl. Okay, after a full day, not a full day, but like a few hours of looking for water, we finally found some at the public where my niece works at. So we're just going to go down the aisle and see what it looks like there. Looks of it, it looks like they do have water, but they're just only allowing two cases per family to have some water. They're good stuff, but they got it. They got a lot of it, man. Luckily, we were blessed to get our two cases. I think we should be good with that. I don't think we need them. Hit a lick and we got two cases of water. That's all they allowed. We can easily walk in there, get another two cases, and just pay at a cash register. But we're just not going to be those type of people. We'll just come back tomorrow and get some other. Oh my God, look at this guy. I thought those little things were stacked, but no. He just got them in there. And I used to be that guy right there. I, I'd buy everything if I possibly could, but with all my uh, adventures buying water for all the events, man, it's better just to let some other people get it, man. Um, why be greedy, you know what I'm saying? But we got our water, and now we're going to head home. And, and so after like two or three hours of driving around from Walmart to Walmart, looking for water, we finally were able to get at least two packs of water at our Publix right down the road. And look at this guy. He is keeping a lookout because, man, look, he's got water right there. That guy's in there just looking around, making sure no one comes up and takes his stuff, man. And I don't blame him. I, I'm not even going to lie. When the hurricane was supposed to come a few years ago, me and my pops, man, we had to go armed to go fill up gas uh, tanks because there were, you know, incidents where people were filling up these big gas jugs and then once they got done there would be people there with some pistols and guns you know robbing them and that was like crazy you know what i'm saying over some gas you know what i'm saying so you got to be careful like and the area that we live in let's just say that it's not the best but it, it's it's not the worst you know what i'm saying so you know it's a pretty nice area but it can get pretty crazy out here man but we were able to score some water we're gonna come back again tomorrow and score some more water because these will be for the household. I'm gonna give these to my mom and my dad, and then we're gonna get some for you know um, myself and my wife and the kids. Then make sure that my sister's got water, um, and you know my little girl if she happens to go back to her house, give her her little case of water. Um, just make sure everybody got to what they need, man, because you know we all need to take care of each other and make sure that we're all straight, man. But at least we were blessed to get some water. So definitely drop down in the comments, man. Let me know, man. How is it in your area? Do they be fighting for the water like crazy? I know here they definitely do fight for the water, man. But, you know, luckily we were able to score some. And I think we'll be all right, man. As long as we just, you know, um, keep our eyes open. Keep our eyes on the storm. And make sure everything stays good, man. But, you know, for right now, we are going to go ahead and end this video. And celebrate with some lemonade from Circle K. So we can, you know, relax and have a good day. I'm going to edit and drop this video so you guys can let me know. And like I said, this is not my normal content. My normal content is car stuff, car audio, speakers, you know, all that stuff. And if you like that type of, you know, uh, car stuff, audio stuff, man, subscribe to my channel, man. And definitely watch a few of the videos that I got. Especially if you're going to be going through the hurricane, man. Just sit back and relax, relax and watch these videos that I be doing on the regular. But for right now, man, it's hurricane content because, you know... It is what's out here, man. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully everybody stays safe. Hopefully the hurricane don't come and get us like that. And we definitely got our water, man. So stay out of Walmart. But for that being said, I hope you guys have a good day. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.